dad put his arms around me and let me cry for a time and then went with me to bury my lamb. It wasn't until many years later that I fully realized the meaning of my father's words. I was pondering the scripture in Moses that says, For behold, this is my work and my glory, to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. That's all mankind. As I thought about the mission of the Savior, I remembered the summer of the lambs. And for a few brief moments, I thought I could sense how the Savior must feel with so many lambs to feed, so many souls to save. I knew in my heart he needed my help. Youth today are not unlike our lambs. They too are hungry, hungry for things of the spirit that will make them grow strong and keep them safe from the coyotes that are out to destroy them. They need someone to love them, to listen and understand. They need to be needed. They need opportunities to come together in a safe environment, a safe fold, so to speak, where they can share with one another and develop wholesome friendships based on brother-sister relationships rather than romantic involvement. They need opportunities to experience the joy of sacrifice and service, of caring for and loving one another as the Savior loves us. Young people are capable and willing to do their part in building the kingdom when they're taught how. We must help them. However, they must also be willing to help themselves. Within the gospel, we have what they need, but they will need to reach out and accept it. It would have been far easier to save our lambs if the mothers had been there to feed them. In this way, most of our youth are different. They have parents. Teach them to turn to their parents. Tell them you have mothers and fathers who love you and can keep you safe from the coyotes. Listen to them, let them help you grow. Young women are the mothers of tomorrow. Young men are the fathers. Together they're the parents, the teachers, the advisors who will help nurture and feed young lambs and lead them home. We must help our youth to prepare now for that sacred responsibility. Help them to be prayerful, to study the scriptures, develop their God-given talents, learn all they can about the world around them that's clean and good. Help them prepare to enter the temple of the Lord and be worthy to receive the ordinances and blessings by living, teaching, and sharing the gospel. Teach them, say to them, your Heavenly Father knows you and cares about what you're doing. He wants you to fulfill your divine mission, then come home and bring your family and friends with you. He wants you to be happy. Be on your knees daily and talk to your Heavenly Father. Share the happy times. Talk about what's hard for you. Like my Father, your Heavenly Father will understand. Parents, priesthood leaders, teachers, advisors, leaders of youth, be watchful shepherds. Band together in the strength of the Lord and lead out in righteousness. Reach out with loving arms and understanding hearts to those who are weak or wandering. Help bring them back to the fold where they can learn of the Good Shepherd and grow close to Him. Please, Choose carefully the paths you walk, for others will follow. That is the way with sheep. Of our little flock, we saved only one-third. And what of the Savior's flock? He has said, Feed my lambs, feed my sheep.